Okay guys, we're at Campsite 58 here at Alice Lakes Provincial Park. This is a very generous size campsite. Easy, three, four tents. You can put here, picnic table, fire pit, enough shade. Also at the same time, it might be a negative for you, but you have this road over here. However, uh, you have a gate here, so nobody can enter here uh, during the day. That road, this road actually leads to Alice Lake. So um, it is a bonus being that close to the water. Just an excellent size lot. And you are also close to the showers and running water and all that good stuff just right up here. So I just like this lot for some reason. Um, it just speaks to me. It might not be for everybody. So there you have it. Hopefully this helps. Uh, like the video, subscribe. Okay guys, I'm at walk-in campsite number 98. This is probably the smallest campsite I've had in BC. Um, small picnic table, campfire, and you probably have room for another tent. Reason for my tent being like this, it was cold yesterday, and so I didn't want the draft coming in um, underneath. So got kind of cold. Uh, yesterday but uh, great cover uh, there is absolutely no behind you we have that road back there but uh, behind there is uh, Alice Lake so I like this little campsite now the negative about this is you do have a road uh, leading down so you'll have people coming in up and down passing your campsite but that's only that's only normal hope this helps okay guys we're at 75 and also 74 this is a double so we got 74 and 75 so this is 75 i to try to give you guys a bit of variety Got your picnic table, fire pit. Um, you do have people in the background here. However, you still you still have enough distance away from them. All right. So this is 75. This is 75 here. And then this is 74. Same thing applies, picnic table, fire pit. Good, good shade with these trees. They are very tall trees, let's put it that way. It smells great over here. You're also close to uh, the washrooms. So there you have that. Okay guys, this is walk-in campsite 103. This is where I stayed yesterday after my hike i got a picnic table fire pit and then my tent it's a medium size campsite some good shade up here and also at the same time i do have the alice lake right behind me for swimming so that's phenomenal okay guys when you buy a new tent they'll include these okay to hold your tent down, the spikes. You go to Canadian Tire, get some woods or the MSR, okay? But they will bend, all right? Just because we're on gravel and in rock, I thought I'd just throw that down and mention that. With this tent, I just used the rocks. I wasn't, uh, I'm only here for a night, okay? And then I'm suddenly, I'm breaking down camp and then off to another campsite. Okay guys, some of the pros of staying at Alice Lake Provincial Park. One, 
it's close to Whistler. You're about a 35 minute drive from Whistler. Two, you're close to Squamish. So if you need to get, you know, food or coffee, you got a Starbucks there, you got a um, London Drugs for your electronics. You have everything uh, a city has in Squamish, Canadian Tire. And so uh, another reason for staying here, hiking trails, the Chief is nearby. The Sea to Gondola is a fantastic uh, adventure and experience for everybody to see. That's an amazing, amazing adventure. Okay, and you're roughly about one hour north of Vancouver. So you get a, a mix of a lot of good things by staying at Alice Lake Provincial Park. Hopefully this helps. All right, guys. And if you're having trouble accessing a campsite through the website, uh, try to check in around 10 o'clock with the park ranger. Sometimes there's cancellations and they're not electronically available to later on that day. Hopefully this helps. Bye for now.